Are you finding lags while recording? Well, you came to the right place. Welcome guys, today I will be showing you the best streamlab settings for any low-end PC. But before we get into the video, I just want to say there's a lot of you watching the videos but that are not subscribed. So I ask you now, please to subscribe and just support a small YouTuber. But anyway, let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is basically open up your streamlabs. And once you're in streamlabs, you want to head over to settings and you want to go to output. And once you're in output, what you want to do is you want to go to output mode and turn it to advanced just here and once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to head over to recording tab and once you're in the recording you want to turn your type to standard it should be on standard but you can just like turn it on standard if it's not and then your recording path so basically your recording path is where your videos whenever you record a video your video will be stored there so mine is going to be stored in the videos folder so yeah so you can choose a folder for you basically and then your recording format what you want to do is you want to put your recording format on mp4 mp4 everyone use mp4 like music videos videos every video is in mp4 basically and with your audio track basically that depends on you what you put your mic on and your things on and all your audio so mine's always on one and your recording basically your recording so if you have a graphics card please use your nvidia graphics card as a encoder and if you don't have a graphics card what you can do is you can use the software x26 that is the best that's basically going to use your cpu so pick the x264 once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to head over to rate control and turn it to cbr constant bit rate and then what you want to do after that is you want to head over to bit rate so i'm basically going to put a table on the screen right now to show what's the best bit rate that you can use for low end pcs it's probably like 2000 to 4000 i think and then for mid end pcs like 5000 and up and for high end pcs obviously going up up like to 10,000 to 20,000 but I'll put the table on the screen and what you want to do by buffer size you just keep it as is it should be on 2500 your keyframe interval should be on north your CPU usage preset should be on very fast very fast your profile should be on high your tune should be on zero latency and basically the last thing here comes the most important part so what you have to do here I'm gonna put the this little thing I coded something and it works so damn it's to work so damn nice so i coded something and but this is basically any pc record anything basically anything so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave the code in the description i will type out the whole code and thing like that you just have to copy it so it's b framed to um i'll copy it down so once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to head over to video and you want to your base you want to put on 1920 by 1080 and your output and your downscale filter what you want to do with that you just want to put on by linear that's fast but blurry if scale and your fps type you want to keep it on common fps values and your common fps values you want to put on 60 frames that's how you're going to get the smoothest frames and the smoothest video the smoothest recording basic so if you found this video helpful give it a like and also subscribe and if you still struggling or you need some help on obs studios you can watch this video on obs studios and it should teach you a lot but anyway i'll see you next time